something in life, something we might just hold in our hand, every person has a different relationship to it. What would an object be, Eric? Well, Pope suggests a quilt. Huh. Yeah. I had a quilt that my grandmother made me. Well, I think everybody's grandmothers made them a quilt at one time or another, if you had a grandmother. Except the problem was is my grandmother wasn't very good seamstress. It was a terrible quilt. And I'm allergic to feathers, and so it made me sneeze all the time. And I was sneezing, and, and, and the quilt was really terrible. And she, she used, you know, like she didn't have like enough fabric and stuff, so she used aluminum foil, and, um, and, and she used fishing line. It was, it was not a very good quilt, still. There was this group. They wanted to do an AIDS quilt. It was like a couple of you know, older women and things like that getting together, just sewing things in their <coughs> spare time. And then I got involved. I'm a marketing executive, and I knew exactly what to do. Get rid of those older women. Get some younger faces in there. Quilts. Put the word out. Internet, Facebook, everything, Twitter. We had, a, we had the quilt business sealed, signed, and delivered. We made 1,200 quilts. That's how you do it. Grandma was a quilt maker. Mom always said, hey, don't bother Grandma. She's making a quilt. And I totally didn't get it, but I was because I was like 12. And, uh, and so I bothered Grandma as much as I could because it was kind of fun because my mom said no. And, and then my grandma said, Sonny, you better just help me quilt this quilt because uh, my fingers hurt really bad. And I was like, well, Grandma, I was just trying to bug you a little bit. And she was, and she was really angry and she would get really mad. And I would be like, I, I just wanted to have fun because I was a kid. And she said, it's OK, little boy. Just take this and you can help me stitch a quilt. I think a quilt is like a little tiny family. It's made up of many different kinds and colors of, of material that one would never imagine together. And yet, you combine them, and it gives you a warm nest in which to sleep. In second grade, my second grade teacher was, was Mrs. Blythe. And during that year, she became pregnant with her first child. And all the homeroom mothers decided that they were going to quilt her a special blanket. And they had all of the students write our signatures on little squares. They sewed together a quilt, and that was our second grade gift to Mrs. Blythe. Many, many years later, I was in high school, and I was hired to be a gardener at Mrs. Blythe's home and she pulled down the quilt that, came, that was from second grade and showed it to us. It was special. Well, we were going through this box of old things in the attic. We opened it up, pulled out this old quilt. It's beautiful. It's like with swans and geese. Someone had spent a long time working on that quilt. And we realized it wasn't any of us. It wasn't any of an, anyone in the family. That box must have been there from the previous owners of the house. And you know, we never knew them. But I just, I was thinking, those previous owners, that old lady must have put so much time, thought, into that 